Can the Baltimore Orioles bullpen repeat the success they had last year, surprising many, and hold their own and help support the starting pitching to make sure the Orioles are competitive in the American League East and can hold a lead when given one? Flex on Podcast Baltimore Orioles 2023 previews continue. Go ahead and swing that subscribe button out of the ballpark. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. Sound off in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on the Orioles bullpen as we get closer to the 2023 season. fans, Orioles Nation, Flex Zone family, God's favorite host here back on the YouTube talking about those 2023 Orioles, giving you my preview and prediction. We talked about Brandon High, we talked about the starting rotation, and what accompanies a good starting rotation, a strong bullpen, which the Baltimore Orioles had this past season. And while they are dealing with a little bit of injuries, there is optimism here. Let's get into it. Last year, they were one of the best bullpens in the American League East, and were part of the reason the Orioles were able to turn it around. They were even able to trade all-star closer Jose Lopez to the Minnesota Twins and get back a return for him and still emerge and find Felix Batista, which the big fella, he got it done. And he was amazing for the Orioles this past season, a pleasant surprise, probably one of the most improved Orioles on the roster. You got Ciano Perez who had a good year. Brian Baker, I think is solid. Dylan Tate is dealing with some injuries, but I think he'll be back by May. Michael Givens is back on the roster. Good signing, underrated signing. We'll see when he makes his debut. Keegan Aiken had a good year last year, but started off strong, slowed down a little bit towards the end. A guy that, if need be, can be a spot starter, give you long relief, along with Perez. I think we'll see a a solid Keegan Aiken this season. Let's see if he can keep the ball in the ballpark. Let's see if he can not walk guys. Let's just see if he can have command of the strike zone. I think that's going to be very, very important for him as well. Orioles have, of course, as I mentioned, Phyllis Batista, their closer. And let me get Felix Batista's number last last year. He had 15 saves last year. 15 saves, 2.19 ERA, 88 strikeouts. The guy can throw in triple digits. The guy can can throw in high-pressure situations, which you always want from a closer. He's calm, cool, and collected. I think he can get over 25, 30 saves this year if he's healthy. I could see that. I could definitely see that. Now, with the Michael, Michael Givens injury, and Dylan Tate injury, what happens? Who comes up maybe from the minor league system and do they maybe add someone if need be? I don't think they add anybody that's late in the game, but who do they bring up or replace them with? But Perez, Baker, and Aiken, and Batista are going to have to hold down the fort until the guys get healthy and they get that full assortment of guys. But I do think back to Phyllis Batista, could I see him with 25, 30 saves? I could see that, especially if he holds up over 162, can avoid major injury. And it's getting back to what he can do, and that's throw gas, throw 100 miles, throw one on one, 102, come in high pressure situations, keep that ERA under 2.5. So I think he's a, a good guy to have in the back in the bullpen. We'll see how long this holds up, and hopefully, he's one of those guys who's only just getting started. Like I said, Perez, Baker, this is going to be the key. If the Orioles starters can give the bullpen, I think. Five to six innings consistently, I think this team is going to really have a chance from the starting pitching aspect to be in a lot of games. And that's the thing. The Orioles, they they play hard. They play for Brandon Hyde. They don't quit. They run out plays. They give everything they got. They dive for, for foul balls. They are diving in the infield. Running, have to run each other off because they're all in the area trying to make that out. So let's see what happens. And this team has a lot of speed on the back end, which I'll talk about when I get to the previews of the infield and outfield, but those are coming next. But you got some righty-lefty mix-ups. And I think if you are without Tatum Givens, I think you can hold your own because that's only going to be like when you get John Means back in the rotation. It's going to be like a trade. You don't have to give up anything for it, and it's going to make your team a whole lot better. I think the bullpen, if they can be one of the – they can remain – As a bullpen, probably one of the three or four best bullpens in the American League. And I I think there could be, especially early on, there could be some regression numbers-wise. But I think as we head towards the stretch run, 
which I want to see around the All-Star break where this team is in July, middle July. How are they continuing on their expectations of success? Last year, nobody expected anything. Now people are expecting the expectation of success. Can they continue that flow? And I think, do they even make a small move at the trade deadline to upgrade the bullpen? Could D.L. Hall be used in a bullpen possibly? Could John Means start out in a bullpen before he comes back as a full-time starter? These are things and questions that we'll see the answers to later on in the season. But I think the bullpen, I think they have a top two bullpen in the in the in the division. I think they have a top two bullpen. I think it would behoove them maybe to not add a piece to it, maybe around the trade deadline if they need to. But if Batista can hold up and take that next step and and really solidify the back end, I think this team has a real, real shot. And I think they could possibly be one of the top two bullpens in the American League East. But sound off in the comments, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Swing it out of the ballpark. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. Let me know your thoughts on the bullpen. We talked about the starters. We talked about Brandon Hyde. More to come infield. And the outfield as we get closer to opening day in Boston for the Baltimore Order. Flex Zone Podcast. Only place giving you sports how you want them to need it. Let me know your thoughts on the bullpen. Can they hold their own? And will they be one of the better bullpens in the American League East and be able to recreate and sustain a lot of success early on and long term with some injuries? And will they be able to support the starting staff? Do you think if the starters are able to give them five, five and a third, six and turn in, will they be able to be the glue that keeps everything together? Let me know. Sound off. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell. Thank you guys as always. For the next video, I'm out. Peace.